gravity, they say it's space warped, bent, or curved around objects with mass. To illustrate gravity, I place a circle above a line. As the circle distorts the one-dimensional line into a two-dimensional shape, anything on that line will tend to move toward the circle. The same illustration with just increased dimensions. A 3D ball warping a two-dimensional plane into a 3D object. Anything on that plane will tend to move toward the sphere. But we don't live in space that is on a line or a plane. The space around us is three-dimensional. So to illustrate, we need to bump the dimensions up one more time. But there's a problem. I don't know how to draw a four-dimensional object. So I will distort my 3D sphere like this to show it being warped into a fourth dimension. A big fail in the illustration department, I know. But it raises a lot of questions, like, must we consider a fourth dimension when studying gravity? Is my line of reasoning here valid or just ramblings of a misguided imbecile? It's probably the latter because I had to ask Google for the spelling of imbecile while writing my script.